James is here presents Wooden Sodor, episode 20, Thomas's birthday. Thomas? Thomas? Thomas, wake up! <sighs> Yawned Thomas as the door opened. Oh, what is it, sir? Thomas, said Sir Tapham Hat, I would just like to say, well, happy birthday. A big grin appeared on Thomas's face. Oh yeah, I completely forgot it was my birthday today. Thank you, sir. And because it's your birthday, said Sir Topham Hat, I am giving you a day off. Thank you, sir, said Thomas. Now I get to rest my wheels. And also, said Sir Topham Hat, I ask the engines when they're done their jobs to come and see you and say happy birthday as well. That's very kind of you, sir, said Thomas. Oh, don't just thank me. Thank the engines as well. Oh, I will when they come here. Good, said Sir Topham Hat, and he walked away. I can't wait to see all my friends, said Thomas, and he sat there, waiting for someone to arrive. After a while, no engine had arrived yet. Oh, no matter, said Thomas. Someone will arrive eventually. Thomas waited and waited. Eh, said Thomas. I might as well go to sleep while I wait. Someone will wake me up when they arrive. And Thomas went back to sleep. But while Thomas was asleep, some terrible things happened. The first accident happened while Edward was pulling some trucks. At the docks, Henry was pushing a truck. Combined with the fact that Henry couldn't see, and that Edward was at a curve, the two engines smashed into the truck. It was a huge mess. When Stepney emerged out of the yard, he saw what had happened. Oh my, said Stepney, what happened here? We crashed, said Edward. Oh, I knew that, said Stepney. In the meantime, I need to get a drink. I'm almost out of water. But Edward and Henry had blocked the water tower. Oh, bother, said Stepney. I can't get a drink. Stepney moved forward. Maybe I can get through. But the truck was completely blocking the track. Then Stepney ran out of water. Oh, bother, said Stepney. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, Gordon crashed with the express. Luckily, the coach was empty. But Gordon felt terrible, even if it wasn't his fault. Then came James. He was singing to himself. And since he was singing to himself, he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> now James was in the pile. Then Thomas woke up. Huh, he yawned. Uh, is there anyone here? He said. Oh, no one's here. Hmm, said Thomas. He turned on the turntable. But then, he saw what had happened. <gasps> said Thomas. What happened? Stephanie, what happened? Oh, there was a, um, a, a, a bit of a collision. Please, go get the breakdown train. But it's my birthday, said Thomas. Sir Topham had said I have to have a day off. Oh yeah, that's right, said Stephanie. Can't you get it, said Thomas? You have enough room to get through. Yeah, but I'm out of water, said Stepney. Oh. Ah, <sighs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to go get it. Soon, Thomas came back with the breakdown train. Ah, <sighs> this reminds me of the day I got my branch line when I saved James. Oh, don't remind me, said James. Anyways, said Thomas. I have a job to do. Soon, all of the engines were back on the track. I don't care that I'm missing my day off, said Thomas. On my birthday, I always want to spend time with my friends.